Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Muhammad Amirul Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my previous video, I explained how to interpret pseudo first order and pseudo second order kinetic models. These videos have been very popular. Therefore, in this video, I would like to explain how to interpret the intraparticle diffusion kinetic model. This video is very important, so please do not skip. Well, the main assumptions or hypothesis of these uh, models are the adsorption process may be controlled either by one or more steps, for example, film or external diffusion, pore diffusion, surface diffusion, and adsorption on pore surface or a combination of more than one step. However, Diffusive mass transfer can be related by an apparent diffusion coefficient which will fit the experimental adsorption kinetic data. A process is diffusion control if its rate depends on the rate at which components diffuse towards one another. The possibility of interparticle diffusion was explored by using intraparticle diffusion model. Now, here is the interparticle diffusion model equation qt equal to q diffusion t to the power half plus c, where qt is the amount adsorbed at time t, k is the diffusion constant, t is the time, and c is constant. Adsorption data for qt versus t to the power half for initial period shows curvature usually attributed to boundary layer diffusion effects or external mass transfer effects. The slope of the plot Qt, Q, Qt versus T half is defined as a rate parameter characteristic of the rate of adsorption in the region where interparticle diffusion rate controlling. Now comes interpretation. Well, Interparticle division is used to determine the rate limiting steps or mechanism of adsorption process. If any adsorption process is followed only interparticle division, then the plot of Qt against T half T to the power half yield a straight line with a slope and intercept. When the adsorption process is controlled by a multiple step mechanism or it has more than one rate limiting step the plot gives multiple straight lines with different slopes and intercept the initial portion of the straight line stands for the surface division or macro pore mass pore division and another portion signifies the macro pore or interparticle diffusion That means if adsorption capacity Qt produces a linear relationship with the square root of time with which passes through the origin that is c equal to 0, the system is completely governed by the interparticle diffusion only. If the relation is not linear but it is combination of multi-linear zone then the system will govern by more than one rate determining step. For example, as figure showing, there are three different linear steps, which means initial uh, section having a high slope represent the bulk or surface division, which is faster process. The next step or second step is slower compared to the initial one, and this step signifies the effect of pore division or interparticle division control zone. The last one is almost linear and indicates the equilibrium state of the system. The intercept of the second section provides the boundary layer concept involved in the particular system. So in my next video, I will explain other models interpretation. Here is the reference 
where from most of the informations have been gathered. Finally, uh, thanks for watching. Please do visit Aminul Camp Innovation. Like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe this channel for new videos.